Bonjour! Today we're going to talk about describing places. It could be a house, a town or your school. You won't get asked to describe all three, so let's just learn one method to describe all of them. Let's start with town. Imagine you live in Wimbledon. That is what the W is for. J'habite à Wimbledon. And then you want you to say where Wimbledon is. Wimbledon um, or ma ville se trouve. And then let's think of an example of what you could say after that. A nice preposition like près de, près de Londres or près de whatever you live near. Now, don't forget, they're not going to check that you live there or where the town is. The fact you're using that expression is good enough. OK, then we need three adjectives to describe the town, the house or the school. If it was town, you could say c'est grand, animé et touristique. You could, if it was the house, grand, moderne, confortable. It's pretty easy to find those two, those three adjectives. And you can use qualifiers like très and mais un peu and a comparative like c'est plus animé que Kingston or something like that. Right. The next thing, I want you to include these five words in your next sentence. I want you to say that you're lucky because, in your opinion, it's the best region of London and you've lived there for whatever amount of time. OK, let's practice. Let's see how these are going to work. Chance stands for j'ai de la chance. OK, I am lucky. J'ai de la chance. Practice it. J'ai de la chance. The next bit. Avis stands for À mon avis. So let's put them together. J'ai de la chance parce que, à mon avis, I'm lucky because, in my opinion. Now we've got meilleur, okay? Now meilleur has an E on the end if the thing it's describing is feminine. And in this case, I am going to put an E on it because I'm going to say, c'est la meilleure région de Londres. Putting it all together. J'ai de la chance parce que, à mon avis, C'est la meilleure région de Londres. And now I've got J. J, the E is a little pronoun that means there. And you're going to say, J'y habite. I have lived there. Actually, you're saying I live there because that's what you use depuis with the present tense. J'y habite depuis cinq ans. I've lived there for five years. Right, we're going to put it all together. J'ai de la chance parce qu'à mon avis, c'est la meilleure région de Londres. Et J'y habite depuis cinq ans. One more time. J'ai de la chance parce qu'à mon avis, c'est la meilleure région de Londres et j'y habite depuis cinq ans. It's essential you get those five things in. The examiner will be ticking boxes like crazy when you come out with that line. Right, it's not over. You've now got to use this really fabulous line to explain why it's such a fabulous town. Okay, or house or school. Ce que j'aime, c'est qu'il y a tout ce dont j'ai besoin. I want you to practice saying that rather than reading it. Ce que j'aime, c'est qu'il y a tout ce dont j'ai besoin. Actually, it has a bit of a nice rhythm though, so you can sort of tap it out. Ce que j'aime, c'est qu'il y a tout ce dont j'ai besoin. Ce que j'aime, c'est qu'il y a tout ce dont j'ai besoin. Now try it yourself. Ce que j'aime, c'est qu'il y a tout ce dont j'ai besoin. The reason I say practice saying it, not reading it, is because you'll get to hear to sir and i want you to put those together like tous and if you want if you struggle to remember this one mm, don sounds a bit like don which is tooth and tous also sounds a little bit like tooth so it's like two words for tooth tooth don tooth don il y a tous dont j'ai besoin it means what i like is that there is everything of which i have need literally so everything i have i need what I like is that there is everything I need. Okay, so, so far. J'habite à Wimbledon, qui se trouve près de Londres. C'est grand, moderne et touristique. J'ai de la chance, parce qu'à mon avis, c'est la meilleure région de Londres et j'y habite depuis cinq ans. Ce que j'aime, c'est qu'il y a tout ce dont j'ai besoin. Phew. Right, we've got the worst of it over now. I need you to list the places that there are in the town. It's going to sound a little bit obvious, but you can say, for example, il y a un cinéma Où on peut regarder des films. Okay, the important thing is that you say what there is, il y a, and then that you use this, où on peut. Où is what they call a relative pronoun, and they love those, so you get another tick. And on peut is an impersonal expression, which will also tick another box. So it means there is a cinema where one can watch films. You could also say, il y a um, un parc où on peut jouer au foot. And don't repeat too many of those, because you're not going to get extra points for each one you do. But we now have to have the negative thing. What you don't like about your town, and you can introduce it with something like this. 
but in the negative. So instead of ce que j'aime, you're going to say ce que je n'aime pas. And then instead of ce qu'il y a, you're going to say ce qu'il n'y a pas de. Okay. Now, if you repeat that, fine. If you can't remember, just stick mais on the front. Mais il n'y a pas de. And then they, maybe that could be a piscine, or it could be a centre sportif, or it could be. Um, I could actually say that there's too much something. So instead of il n'y a pas de, you could say il y a trop de. But either way, we're thinking of something negative at this point. Okay, trop de circulation. Il y a trop de pollution. Il n'y a pas de piste cyclable. Il n'y a pas de bibliothèque. Okay. Now, finally, I want you to cure the problem by saying, if there was one of these things that's missing, it would be perfect. I would be happy. Something like that. So you're going to start with s'il y avait. This is an if clause. And it literally means if there was a more less it would be perfect, I would be happy. For example, s'il y avait une piscine, ce serait parfait. S'il y avait plus de pistes cyclables, je serais content. S'il y avait moins de pollution, ce serait parfait. Or je serais content. I want you to use all of these things when you describe house, town or school. Now, if you get to this point and you think, oh, I don't know how to describe what's in my house, il y a où on peut. Il y a un salon où on peut regarder la télé. Il n'y a pas de cinéma. There probably isn't one in your house. Or il y a trop de bruit. Or il y a trop de pollution dans la rue. Or something like that about describing your town or your house or your school. It fits everything. And there's always something that you can imagine having in your townhouse and school, which would make it better. That's your if sentence. You've maximised your use of tenses in just one small answer about how to describe your town, house or school. Well done. Très bien fait tout le monde. Au revoir.